Hello and welcome to this presentation. Is that okay? Um, so, um, my name is Morgan Maillard. I'm product manager for the company uh, Lallement. Um, I would like to show you this flyer. If you came by uh, our booth during this trade show, you may have seen this flyer. On this flyer, you will have this red balloon. The red balloon is actually representing our stomach that may sometimes suffer from some disorders like heartburn, gastric reflux, or even ulcers. And in order to answer to the question, which is written here, how to pop the balloon, I'm going to present you the product gastro -AD. This product is a food supplement based on fermented soy. It is recommended for the relief of occasional heartburn and gastric discomfort. So first, let's start with a few words about the company L'Allemand. So L'Allemand is a privately owned Canadian company that has been founded at the end of the 19th century. Uh, the main objective of the company is to develop, produce, and market yeast and bacteria and their derivatives for a specific industries and for specific applications. For example, bakeries, animal and human nutrition industry, or also wine and other alcohol producers. L'Allemand Health Solutions is a specific division of L'Allemand uh, dedicated to the food supplement and pharmaceutical industries. Our core business is the production and the marketing of probiotics for human use, but we can also provide some specific, based, uh, some specific solution based on yeast and bacteria. The product GastroID is one of these specialties. So let me start with some data about the uh, heartburn. So first, the definition. So what is heartburn? Heartburn is really a big word um, that represents the burning sensation you can have in the chest and also the bitter or acidic taste you can have in the mouth. Sometimes when you get stressed, you eat too much, you have an unbalanced diet. For example, maybe I think that today, during the trade show, you can have at some point heartburn. We have seen that the prevalence of heartburns is between 10 to 20 percent worldwide, with a specific higher prevalence in westernized countries. What is quite amazing is, for example, in the US, about 42 percent of the population have had heartburn at some point. So these figures are quite uh, important. And what we have seen also in a publication uh, dated from last year is that during the last decade, this prevalence has even increased. This can be strongly linked to the fact that the prevalence of obesity is also rising. So considering all these facts, we can see that all the sectors of the population can be affected. We can consider women, men uh, who are stressed, we can consider seniors, pregnant women, people taking like anti-inflammatory drugs. So now let me uh, explain a little bit more what's it happening in the stomach, which is actually the organ the more affected by this disorder. So as explained, sometimes when you eat too much, when you are stressed, when you eat, uh, when you drink alcohol, or sometimes when you get infected by Helicobacter pylori, you can, uh, you can have some pain in your stomach. This is mainly due to the fact that your mucus is alterated. The mucus is a layer that will protect your stomach wall against your own gastric juices, which in the normal case, allow you to digest correctly the food. Sometimes, you will have also a dysfunctioning of the sphincter, which is a link between your esophagus and your stomach that will prevent from a gastric reflux. In some cases, the dysfunctioning of the sphincter will uh, lead to a reflux of the gastric acidity and then a degradation of the esophagus. Then you will have some associated disorders. And you can find here heartburn, which is actually a symptom of the gastric reflux. You can have at some point gastritis, which is an inflammation, and in the worst case, ulcers, which are sores you can have in your stomach or intestine wall. So today, different drugs are available on the market. We can consider different groups 
according to their specific effect. So we can have drugs allowing to neutralize the stomach acidity. We can have also drugs allowing to inhibit the secretion of acid in your own stomach. And in case of infection by Helicobacter pylori, you will have also the use of antibiotics, which is recommended. Today, what we can say is that the main part of the drugs which are available on the market are considering as synthetic substances. And we have seen that the prevalence of heartburn is really increasing. So this is why there is really a place and a demand for natural product allowing to um, a relief of heartburn. That's why L'Allemand has decided to focus on soy. Uh, which is a nutrient um, and really interesting uh, food. So why? Because soy has been consumed for many centuries, in, especially in Asia countries. Today, it's becoming more and more trendy because we can see the vegan population increasing and there is a real need of alternatives to animal-based products, to, to an alternative to animal-based products. So soy is a really interesting to consider especially for its good nutritional composition. Actually, this product contains high c contents of plant proteins. It is low in saturated fats. It contains dietary fibers and, in addition, specific molecules like isoflavone, as an example, which can have a positive uh, health effect on the human body. In addition, soy is considered as cholesterol-free, gluten-free and also, also lactose-free, which is quite interesting to consider for specific population. <coughs> so to sum up, L'Allemagne decided to use this uh, really interesting food, which is soy, and to um, use also its expertise in fermentation and probiotic production to uh, create the product gastro -AD which is a nutritional supplement based on non-GMO soy and fermented by a specific strain of Lactobacillus called Lactobacillus delbrueckii lactis rosel 187, which is a strain selected by Institute Rosel. During the production of gastro AD, there is no additional extraction. That means that we keep the soy, the Lactobacillus, and also all the molecules which are produced during the fermentation. Then we dry, and then we can have a powder. This product has been first produced um, in the 50s. So it's quite old product, but it has been tested all over these years up to now in order really to understand um, how this product is effective on people and to understand how it works. So in total, this product has been tested in 600 people. And the main outcomes were that it allowed a quick relief of heartburns and additional gastric and duodenal symptoms. And also, it was really well tolerated, which is quite important uh, when considering drugs for heartburn. So I'm going to show you two studies. Uh, just briefly to, uh, to explain you the main results we can obtain with that product. So the first one, which is actually the first study performed on that, stud uh, on that product, uh, gathered 360 patients suffering from different disorders, mainly based on ulcers and gastric uh, inflammation. These people, they were suffering from these disorders for quite a long time. And they had some uh, strong symptoms like nausea, stomach pain, heartburn. They were given 2.5 to 5 grams of gastro -AD three times a day, half an hour before meals, and then during one month. We obtain different results. So I will start with the results we have on the left, showing the short-term effect of this product. So we have focused on the relief of heartburn, and we have seen that within 15 minutes, 85% of the patients, they could feel relieved from this heartburn sensation, which is quite, I mean, um, amazing as a result. Then on the right, you can have more the long-term effect or chronic effect of the gastroid powder. In that case, we uh, decided to look at the symptoms linked to ulcers. And here we have seen that within 50 days, 15 days, sorry, 95% of the patient could feel 
a relief of these really um, heavy and strong symptoms. The second study has been performed more recently. Uh, it has been performed in 2002. Um, it was actually the same kind of study. Uh, so we consider people uh, in hospital suffering from different uh, disorders, mainly based on ulcers and gastritis. They were being given uh, two grams of a gastro AD three times a day during one month. And then we have obtained uh, significant results showing that 86% of the patient after one month of treatment could feel a reduction of heartburn. Then 83% of the patient could feel an appetite regained, 60% of the patient could feel a lessening of vomiting, and then 58% of the patient could feel, in a more general way, a reduction of gastric discomfort. So, in order really to understand uh, how this product is working, uh, we have decided recently to uh, try to um, elucidate the mechanism of action. So today, this mechanism of action is not yet elucidated at 100%, but we have some good tracks to consider that I'm going to show you right now. So if you look at the stomach, so just to summarize how you can have this pain in your stomach, you have sometimes, like uh, when you are stressed or you eat too much food, um, your mucus, which protect your own stomach wall from auto-digestion, will be degraded. And it will be degraded by the gastric juices, mainly composed of acid and some enzymes, more sp uh, specifically proteolytic enzymes. In another part, you will have the product Gastro-AD. This product is made of soy, lactobacillus, and also contains some bioactive compounds that have been produced during the fermentation. So we have seen that gastro -ID allows a short-term action. This short-term action is, in fact, um, today able to be explained by a buffer effect of the gastro -ID powder, mainly due to its high contents of proteins. Then we have discovered recently that some bioactive compounds produced during the fermentation can, have, uh, can really inhibit some proteolytic enzymes. Okay, so in that case, you will have like a general inhibition of your gastric juices, temporary inhibition, that will allow really to, to, feel, uh, to, uh, to feel the relief of the pain um, due to heartburn. Then we have seen that this product can have also a short-term effect, and this can be explained by the fact that the lactobacillus, even it, if it has been pasteurized, can still have an action on the immune system. And in published results, we have shown that the lactobacillus, this specific strain, is able to decrease the inflammation and then uh, that will allow to heal the uh, stomach hole. Today, we are promoting this product as a food supplement. That's why we recommend to use one gram of powder all day when occasional heartburn occurs. So Lallemand is a supplier of the powder. We are working with subcontractors in order to provide some galenic forms, for example, tablets. So to summarize, um, L'Allemand has um, really used his experience in specialty fermentation in order to develop the gastro AD and to ensure the quality, safety, and efficacy of this product. Hence, gastro AD is controlled at all stages of the production, from the non-GMO certification of the soy, to the strain selection of the lactobacillus, to the monitoring of the fermentation, and also to the control of the quality of the gastro add powder at the end of the process. So thank you for your attention. Do not hesitate to ask questions if you have some. Yes. <laughs> okay. Uh, do you work to elucidate this mechanism yes. of action? Because it's just hypothesis. Uh, yes. Do you have some trials leading to explain how actually it, it works? Yes. So um, 
considering the mechanism of action, there are some parts which are uh, elucidated, like the uh, immunomodulation. These are published results. Um, today, we are really working on the characterization of the molecules uh, which are produced during the fermentation and which have really a specific activity. Uh, yeah, this is something we are currently doing. So, thank you. 